Hey there guys, it's John, and tonight for Master Chef Episode 2, I'm going to be cooking a steak. So, here we go. Hey there guys, it's Dr. Volzar and John, and I'm going to be cooking a venison steak tonight. I never cooked a venison steak. This is actually from a deer I shot, so I hope it tastes good. And I'm going to cut it open, put it on a plate, and we're going to try to grill it. I never grilled in my life, so we're going to see how I was just goes. wondering if you need to thaw this thing or not, because, listen to it hard as a rock so I don't know if I'm going to thaw it or if I'm just going to throw it on the grill but I'm probably just going to cut it open and throw it on the grill so right, guys go. so I got the steak in the microwave unthawing put it for two minutes and I just went out and got the grill started and that literally took me five minutes to get our grill started we do not have the greatest grill so I'll come back when this is done or if we need to do extra time I'll come back when it's on. Alright, so my venison's all defrosted and it doesn't smell the greatest right now. I don't know why, but now I'm going to try to get it, my camera set up so I can do this on the grill outside. Alright guys, so the grill's been going about for three minutes now and I'm going to put the steak on because I think it's all good and hot. It's really hot, so I'm pretty sure it's good. And I'm trying to figure out these metal tongs, or not metal, rubber tongs. Not really working. Like I can't even grip it, so I'm just gonna bug that with my hand. That doesn't look good. I'm gonna gotta show you. But you can see kind of I don't know. I don't really want it. Oh dang, it's got blood all over. But look at this. That doesn't look good. So I'll come back as soon as I start grilling again. Alright guys, so I just came back from the kitchen with a clean plate, because you know to be a master chef, you have to keep your shit sanitary. Been grilling for about two minutes now, so I'm going to go and check on it. Because I really don't want to burn this steak, because it looked really good. This stuff So, it doesn't look too bad. I have some nice grill marks on it. But, yeah, I'll come back in a little bit. Alright, guys, so I just checked on it, and it's, like, splitting now, so I'm pretty sure there's two steaks in that one. But, yeah, I'm going to keep on grilling. Alright, guys, so I decided to cut it, and now look at it. It's, like, all hack and slashed. It's, like, doesn't look good anymore. But it's still going to taste the same. So, yeah, I'm going to start to grill the puppy right now. But on this one side that I cut, it's like all ice and like weird. It's like freezing on the other side, it's like burning hot. So I finally figured out how to work out these tongs. And I love the sizzle. I don't know, my first time grilling, I love that sizzle. But... So yeah, I'll update you guys in a little bit, and I have like all these mosquitoes and bugs flying around my head, and it's kind of making me mad. Nom, 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 nom. Alright guys, so we're probably halfway done with the grilling, I'm guessing. Um, it's starting to smell real good, and the outside's starting to look a little bit cooked, but not like all the way, so I'm guessing we're about halfway, since we need to grill the inside still, but... Yeah, I really don't know how long to cook it, so I'm going to have to like cut open the steak probably like 20 times to see until it's not red anymore and there's like no more blood hardly. But I'm probably going to cook it medium rare because I like uh, I like a little blood in my steak. The juices, I don't know. But yeah, so I'll be back in a little bit. Alright guys, so I just got attacked by like a bird. Um, yeah, I didn't notice this, but there's a bird's nest like right next to the grill it's like right up in our porch see if I can get close without another one flying out at me you can see there's one right there in that corner there's one right there in that corner and see that little fuzzy head popping out yeah it's a little chickadee I guess it's scaring the crap out of me um yeah so they're not chirping anymore but they're like chirping and like flying like the mom and the dad bird I think there might have been only one, but it was like flying like right past my head and that scared me so bad. That was gonna take out my head. But yeah, the steaks are almost done. Alright, I'm gonna go and flip the steaks. I kinda figured out how to flip them. 
really easy. But like I don't know, you flip one over to the side and then you flip the other one over. And it's working pretty good for me. So they're almost done. I'm not really sure when they're gonna be done, but I'll show you when they're done. Alright guys, look at that. Don't they look good? So I'm going to take you inside. Doesn't that look good? I'm 90% sure they're cooked. So yeah, I'm going to start eating. Alright guys, so I got my steak sauce. Oh, there's a the camera. Over there. Got my steak sauce and I'm ready to do some work. I don't get why it's make this stuff easy to come out. I usually like A and one more in this stuff, but I think it'll get the job done. So as you can tell I almost just cut myself, but yeah, it's pretty good I'd say. I have a big huge chunk. Oh my god, that's amazing. It's like cooked perfect, you can see. It's a little bit pink, but it's amazing. It's like the best steak I ever had. First steak I ever cooked. I cannot too. tell you guys how pleased I am with the outcome of this steak. It's just great. This steak is the shit, guys. It's so good. I'm, it's been about probably a minute, and look how much I got gone. I already got like half a steak gone, and it's been like a minute. So I've just been... Mowing down on a steak like a freaking grizzly bear on a grizzly bear is on a human ass. Or a hyena on like one of those little freaking goat donkey things. Has. I'm gonna see how many pieces of steak I can swallow or I'll eat in like as fast amount of time as I can. Like as soon as I start to choke, that's when I'm gonna stop. So here we go. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It's been about two minutes now, and I still have meat in my mouth. Never eat as much steak as you can at once, it's a bad idea. Bad idea. If any of you guys own a five-star restaurant, call me. Call me maybe. Right, guys, I'm done. I cannot eat anymore. But I'd say I got a good steak and a half. Yeah, I reloaded on steak sauce about 12 times. And it was really good. So, yep, see you guys. Thanks for watching.